Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in my last video we talked about automatic screen locking and suspending on a window manager that doesn't have power management built in, say here is such as DWM. Some of you noticed that I'm using DWM now after being a long time awesome window manager user. And there's a couple of reasons for it. Uh, the first one I think, and it is probably the most important, is with, uh, so this laptop here, if I ran, it came with Windows and I did a lot of test running before I wiped it. Uh, I could maybe get five hours of battery uh, and then it would die. Uh, and that's kind of bare bones as much as I could, you know, strip out all the all the bloatware and all that. Uh, with uh, KDE, I could probably get seven or eight hours uh, if I strip it all down. And with Awesome, probably about the same. The problem with Awesome is a lot of the Lua scripts that run in the background, if you want to, if you want some kind of widgets at all, they update pretty quickly or pretty rapidly and they kind of drain the battery pretty quickly and it's not really easy to change that. And the cool thing about DWM is that these, uh, these, this is a DWM blocks. You can have each one of these modules like the weather, the updates, you know, the weather updates once a day, update the package manager probably every couple hours or, or even less if you wanted. It's not very, not, even at that point, it's not very often. Memories, not very often, probably once a minute or so. The fast ones are probably the CPU and the network, just because you kind of want to see what those are doing. I think I have CPU every two seconds and network probably the same every two seconds or so. Temperature, who knows, it's every couple minutes. So because these things don't update very quickly and they're relatively quick, they're just little bash scripts. Um, so if you, know, if you go into uh, to my status bar where the, where the, uh, like the battery, uh, let's get a kind of a simple one here, like uh, CPU two. No, that's not so easy. Uh, let's do something like, do you want like bandwidth? I guess. No, that's that's pretty fast. Like I think it's volume. So it's just a pretty quick little little uh, a mixer call with 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 said to pull out the the the, the information. So it's it's there's not much going on, and it's it's uh, you know I can get probably nine and a half hours with uh, DWM versus, uh, as I've already said it the other times. So the other thing is about awesome is that, you know, you get the tile left, tile right. Um, they do that pretty well. And if you get somebody like Copycat Killer, they built in a thing called uh, the Centered Master. I don't know if he calls it that, but that's the idea. You know, you can do all of this stuff in DWM with patches. And say, you know, normally if you have like HTOP over here, um, you can rotate the stack just like you would uh, anywhere else, but as you know, you know if, if I was here, I have to go rotate once and then twice it goes to the to the master. And the cool thing is like DWM, you can have it set up to where control or uh, mod control or super control enter takes it right to the to the to the master, and then back with the same command. Um, another thing is I don't think I've ever seen awesome with this one is uh, if you want this to pull out almost like a a uh, pop out, you just do uh, mod or super O and then it's like uh, stacked on top. If you want to pull another uh, terminal in, you just uh, mod shift I to increase the, the uh, number of masters. And you can do mod H or mod L to, to widen, mod H to, to narrow. And then you just hit mod U again and you're, you're back in the, in the master or the, the centered, centered master. If you don't want the, the two masters here is what this is called. You just hit mod shift D to decrease the number. And so, I mean, it's just, there's so many cool things you can do. And, you know, there's a patch even for the, uh, the scratch pad. And these are, these are alacrity terminals, but I have the scratch pad come up as an ST. And I usually do my updates on here and I can, you know, I can pull this up and go to um, another screen and then pull it right back up. It's the same terminal. So in terms of functionality, it seems to me like, there's even more with DWM, more granular control. Um, you can't get quite as pretty a graphs. I mean, you maybe could if you really hacked it, but I don't think you need it. I get everything I need out of this and I get amazing battery life. So I just, uh, yeah, I'm sold on, on DWM. So if we look at uh, what, what we have set up here on this system, uh, obviously, like I said, um, Alacrity's for my normal terminal. It just gets better support. For some reason, when I use uh, uh, ST on my laptop, the same build on my desktop works. I don't know why it doesn't work on this one, but uh, if I do like bash top, or let's just go do go top. 
it doesn't render the fonts right. There's no little dots there. I don't know why. And but if I go to uh, uh, where was I before? If I do it here uh, with Alacrity, it does work. It, for some reason, I haven't figured that out yet. If I can figure that out, I'll use ST for everything because that's really the only thing missing. But anyways, um, I use D menu for obviously the launcher, and that's just mod shift enter, and you know can launch any program there. This is uh, my custom build of of uh, um, D menu. I uh, use it for recording. Obviously, that's what I was, was just uh, using now, and it's got a little module in there to, to show that it's recording up here. Uh, screen capture, same kind of thing. I can just hit uh, screen, uh, screen cap, and I don't know if it just took it or not, but I probably just did. And then I've got to thank uh, Luke Smith for the emojis. Um, just a really handy little... It's really good for like replying to YouTube videos. It's just, it's just really handy. And I also have it set up for LastPass. Um, so that you know you have to log in once, but uh, got it uh, set up for a last pass uh, password management, so I can use something like Cute Browser and not have to have a an attachment. So as for the layouts, uh, we've already talked about uh, tile uh, floating is pretty obvious. Uh, monocle. So if you're in full screen mode, so let's go back over here and we do the mod M. We're in monocle and it's just basically stacking. Um, Horizontal grid. So this is pretty cool. Uh, this is one of the layouts I would do if I was um, uh, running Gentoo. <laughs> is I'd have you know my main uh, things going on up here, and then I'd have like fetch and htop and and uh, emerge progress here. But uh, so that's available. Um, centered master. We already talked about that. That's this one. And then uh, centered floating master. That's the one where you. Um, where they stack like this, or it's floating up front. And then spiral, if I can remember, I think it's just mod S. Yeah, that's spiral. And then, and then uh, dwindle is the opposite, so um, it just you know does the same thing, but in the opposite direction. It goes into the right-hand corner every time, as opposed to uh, spiral, which goes into like the actual Fibonacci there. So, got all the got all that going. Uh, I don't have a list of all the. Um, I deleted this the the the, uh, the actual diff files for patching, um, but if I just go to say DWM, you can see that that the, you still need the Fibonacci dot C in there and the horizontal grid dot C in there, and everything else is where I, I deleted them. Maybe on the next version of. DWM, I'll leave the patches in a different folder so that everybody can kind of see what I've used. But <clears throat> so uh, at this point, as you can see, this is uh, Git repo. So I guess the news on this video is if you want my build of suckless utilities, <clears throat> I did in update my uh, my GitHub and it's got my D menu, DWM, DWM blocks, and ST. I should say that uh, the ST is entirely um, Luke Smith's. So, uh, ST build by Luke Smith. So, so thanks to him for for that. But yeah, it's all here. Um, one thing you are going to have to do is you're going to have to build the local bin and add it to your path. So I would recommend going here first. And I think this is a pretty concise installation. You just basically clone it into local bin, and then you add uh, add that to your path. I use ZSH, so I use it in ZSH profile. And then you just got to activate the, the scripts, and then they should be accessible for launchers. Like I said before in my other videos, like you know, it's they're they're right there, and you, you can have them lock, launch on auto start. But if we go back to the suckless builds, like I said before, um, it's pretty self-explanatory how to do it. You just you clone the repo, and then you go into each one of these folders and make clean install. Uh, like I said, I do use Alacrity. You might have to configure Alacrity. Um, I have a, a configuration for it. That you might need to do the same. Uh, and you need to uh, create a DWM and put a wallpaper in it. Uh, so a .DWM config, and then obviously your auto start if you want to start a compositor and all that kind of good stuff. So, And then the auto start is going to run your wallpaper command and DWM block. So those are the two that you need to get this up and running. And then you can you know add Compton and Redshift and so on and so forth. I have a few more things in there. 
you got to make it executable and if you do want to change it uh, from alacrity to ST you got to you should get used to uh, you should get used to how to deal with um, uh, configuring configuring through the config.h and it's just right here you just change alacrity to ST and recompile you obviously have to recompile every time you change so if you change that to ST you need to be in the, the DWM folder and install it so there you go uh, I'm probably gonna do my awesome window manager next it's it's pretty nicely configured I just need to uh, log into it maybe I'll do an update video in a day or two on how to get that one it, it looks pretty good it's just uh, as I said before um, I just find that this is a more uh, just more I don't know usable kind of follows my you know my workflow the best that I've seen so far so I'm totally sold on DWM so let me know if you have any questions take care